Hey guys, welcome to Bible Chat and Clean with Emma. Today I'm talking about the tongue. Looking in the Word of God in Genesis, we see that God spoke things into existence. And one classic proof of spiritual growth and maturity is the ability to speak consistent with the Word of God, bearing in mind Proverbs 18 verse 21 that tells us life and death are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. This applying to those who worship God and those who do not. This is a principle in the life of humans. As Christians, we must aim for our words to be in line with the word of God. This means we have to be familiar with the word and have an understanding of how to apply it into our daily lives. At times, we tend to trivialize these foundations of truth and have a tendency to behave as though such beliefs is for babes, the new Christian, overzealous, fanatic believer of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But our words are the programmers of our destiny. Job twenty-two twenty-eight tells us, you will decide and decree a thing and it will be established for you. This is why guarding our heart is crucial as what comes in our minds is usually what we speak. And eventually as we continue to speak, we believe. Let's learn to culture our words with the word of God, not speak words that will bring tragedies in our lives. Speaking is so important that Zachariah's mouth had to be shut for him not to alter John the Baptist's destiny. At times our neighbors are not at fault, but as individuals we have spoken words of doom over our lives, and in Zachariah's case he had unbelief concerning his son's future. Let us stop being sarcastic when it comes to our lives and the lives of our family members. Satan understands man has limitation. It is called humanity. And part of humanity is we can and we will be weary. We will sleep and we will slumber. Satan knows our ears and our eyes control our perception, hence our conviction. So he makes sure that perpetually before us is an awareness of our limitation. Satan brings the reality of your situation in order for you to confess it and alter all efforts made. Every time you speak in a spirit of faith, you are speaking into the integrity of God, which is his word, which reminds us that he does not go back against his word, but instead he watches over his word to perform it. John 6 verse 63 says, The spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. And the very word I have spoken to you are spirit and life. The devil wants to threaten us into silence, so we do not confess the word of God. Christians are to be childlike, not childish, but at times we act too mature for results. We have been wasting words. The words supposed to be used for edification are now used for complaining and murmuring. Brethren, let's pray about our unbelief and not be fake Christians. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Our standard to earthly life is found in the manual, the Holy Bible. I would encourage you today to look into your life, to review the areas of your life that you have probably spoken negative words, areas of your life that you believe that if you had believed otherwise would have not come to pass. I would encourage you, brothers and sisters in the Lord, to stand strong on the word of God, to confess every good and perfect gift that he speaks of concerning your life, which we find in the Holy Bible. I encourage you to study the word of God, to be able to stand on his promises and wait upon him as he brings forth every good thing into your life. Thank you for listening. I would encourage you to like, to share, and to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, God bless you and God keep you. Amen.